Hey YouTube, Cole the Goal here. Um, I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how to make a background such as the one I have here using Photoshop. Now I have Photoshop CS4. It doesn't really matter which one you have. So we'll go ahead and open it. I know it's quite expensive. If you leave some comments or send me a personal message, I can show you how to get it for free. Just gonna open it. Start by opening a new document. Now if you know the exact dimensions of your computer, um, type that in. If not, then 1,300 by 1,000 is what the one that I'm using right now is, so that works out good. Uh, 100 resolution. If you have a MacBook Pro, 13.3 inch like mine, 1280 by 800. So, okay. After full screen, just gonna hide my docs so I can reach these menus. So, we are just gonna start by dyeing the background completely black. Then you're going to create a new layer using the elliptical marquee tool. Draw a oval shape and pick a color. I'm just going to start with red. So color it in. Control D to deselect. You're going to go filter, uh, blur, then Gaussian blur. Usually 100 pixels is kind of what you want it, but it depends on the size of the shape. Just going to hit OK. And there's the first one. You're going to go a new layer by hitting that button there. Take the elliptical marquee tool again and draw another shape. Pick a different color. This time I'll go with green. Tie it in. Control D to deselect. Filter Gaussian blur right there. But if it's a smaller circle, you're going to want to go ga filter blur Gaussian blur again so you can edit pixels to how blurry it is. Uh, so I'm just going to put it at 100, hit enter, and actually I think I'm going to blur it that a little more. There we go. So if you want to, you can move them around, but I'm just going to leave it there. Oh, new layer. Draw your new circle. Pick a new color. I'll do yellow this time. A nice happy yellow. DD select filter. Since it's a smaller one, I'm definitely gonna want to come in here so I can adjust the pixels. That works out really good. Um, okay. Next, I'll do one more layer just for this quick little video. Whoops. This one I'm going to make skinny. So let's say I'll go with a purple color. Among all the bright colors. Tie it. Control D. Filter. Blur. Gaussian blur. Hit OK. Once again you can position it. I'm just going to hit Control T to free transform. I can put it on an angle. Maybe I'll go vertical, like, mm, there we go, that's good. Enter. Move around like that. Now I'm going to put one more in just to fill this area along the side here. Go with a smaller one, just like that. Put in a light blue. Filter, blur, caution blur. Gonna make the make it smaller just because this is a much smaller shape. Bring it in, adjust it, put it there. Okay, now what you're gonna do? Make a, a new layer. Put both th them to black and white. Filter, render, clouds. And then you're gonna wanna go filter, blur, motion blur. Then you're gonna wanna bring the distance to the max 999 pixels. Hit OK. Now, this is the part I'm going to do. Image adjustments and brightness contrast. You don't have to do this. Um, you can do it as many times as you want. I'm just going to do it twice. If you have uh, Photoshop Elements, it might not be under image. It will be under something else. I'm can't, not 100% sure. can't remember. But uh, it's there, so just look for it. And then you're going to want to put it on soft light or vivid light. Soft light looks like that.
where it just kind of gives it that effect. But if you put on vivid light, like that one, it will distort it a little bit. So I put it like that. See, it gives it a little bit of distortion. Uh, I'll just hard light. As you can see, it gives it gray. You can experiment with those ones, but I don't think they look as good. See what overlay looks like. Yeah, overlay's not bad. I guess I'll, I'll keep that one. So you get control S to save. Save as wallpaper uh, video, I guess, just for now. Hit enter. Photoshop compatibility, good. Uh, minimize that. Change background. Change desktop background. Wait for the system preferences to start up. There it is. So under folders, double click on pictures and find it. Mine's under here. And war wallpaper. This one, this is the one. And then there you go. There's your wallpaper. Um once again you can put as many you as many colors or as little colors as you want on there. Um it honestly doesn't matter, whichever you prefer. So thanks for watching and comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.